I'm ready now to roll the ceiling. What I've done first of all is just put a nicer edge of paint round using the brush or what we sometimes call cutting in. That then means when you do your roller you're not going to get paint all over the walls. So I'm ready to roll now. I'm using an extension roller for painting this ceiling because it makes it much easier and get a lot more access to the area without having to stand on ladders. One thing when you're painting a ceiling that you should bear in mind is make sure you start from literally one edge and keep on moving in stripes all the way along. Keep that wet line moving. And also the other thing that I'm doing is actually working from the light, in this case the windows, and working away from the light. You'll find that that actually also helps a lot. One of the things when you're actually using the roller on the ceiling is you'll notice sometimes the problem when you paint it on a ceiling is when you get all that spatter coming off. So on the forward stroke, you can see the roller goes into the ceiling, put the pressure on and get the paint on. But on your backward stroke where it's coming towards you, just take that pressure off and that reduces all that paint dander off. When you've done the ceiling, you might want to just break before you go on to the next room. Little tip, put a carrier bag around that, keep it nice and moist and then you've got your paint ready for your next ceiling.